Hey, it's Dry Bear. Another week has come and went, and it's time to check in on our rankings for the healers in Dragonflight. We'll go over all seven healing specs and stack them up in all PvE content against each other, and we'll first review week four as we are now at the end of week five. As always, if you have any questions or comments for me, you'll find me live every day on twitch.tv forward slash drybear. Come by and say hi. All right, let's talk about it. On screen, you will see last week. This is week four. Uh, we've been doing this every week. This is week four's statistics. So this is where everyone stood uh, Heroic Raid, Mythic Raid, and Mythic Plus. I like including Heroic Raid because it, it shows what the upper limit of a character is because difficulty doesn't really restrict you in any way. Uh, whereas in Mythic Raid, you have a, a confined group size and uh, difficulty mechanics uh, will constrain how you play your character. Whereas in Heroic, you're kind of left to do whatever you want. Uh, in, in this list here, keep in mind that we just had a balance, uh, some class tuning on Tuesday. The two biggest ones for healers was a buff to Holy Priest and a buff to Mistweaver. So let's figure out what this did to the uh, healer rankings going into week five from week four. And bam, we're into week five. So uh, you're welcome to go back and forth between the two uh, as we have the stats on screen, but you can very easily see that well, Holy Priest went up a good chunk there, a noticeable chunk, and Mistweaver went up a noticeable chunk as well. Uh, in, in last week and in the prior weeks as well, we saw basically three groupings of the data. Preservation, Restoration, Fighting for First Place in almost all content. Then you had Holy Priest, Holy Paladin, Restoration Shaman kind of uh, in this middle grouping competing for that third, fourth, and fifth slot, uh, with Restoration Shaman a little bit further behind than them, but still on that same grouping. And then at the very bottom, the struggle bus uh, had a party of two. It was Mistweaver and Discipline uh, struggling their way through. Now, with the buffs that we got for Holy Priest, that has pushed them in this in-between land between the middle grouping and the two at the top. Holy Priest has overall just been uh, jumping. Um, Heroic Raid and Mythic Raid, Holy Priest has kind of secured that third place slot, which makes sense. Holy Priest is a raid healer. They should be good at putting out throughput they should be good at general, uh, you know, like overall measurable performance in a raid setting. Holy Priest is a raid healer, so you expect them to do well, right? If Holy Paladin was on top of this list, being a tank and spot healer with a ton of utility, something would be wrong. Um, so that's kind of just where we're at uh, with, with the heals. And then we saw <laughs> Restoration Shaman did come up relative to their classes as well. This could just be, you know, people are getting better at Restoration Shaman or they're getting more gear. And as that gear gets higher, they scale better. Uh, Resto Shaman is one of the few healing specs in the game where they do well with any secondary stat. They have almost equal weightings for most of their secondary stats. In M+, they favor having uh, that haste. And then in early progression, Mastery does well in Raid. But for the most part, every stat for Resto Shaman does well. So as they overall, the stat pool gets higher, they scale really well. So Restoration Shaman came up uh, a little bit from that, that gap that it was in. And a big improvement is Mistweaver. So you can see that the buffs that Mistweaver received, they got an overall healing increase, and then they got a DPS output increase on their abilities, which as a DPS, uh, a, a, a healer that does damage to heal with Fist Weaving, uh, the damage increase was also a healing increase, obviously, because it converts that damage into effective healing. Um, so they left the... <laughs> They basically got off the struggle bus and they, they got into kind of like the average middle uh, area, um, but discipline is still on the struggle bus there all alone. I don't know. There's no one there to like, I don't know, play rock, paper, scissors with. They're not playing Pokemon cards with anyone. No one wants to trade Pokemon with them. They're just sitting on the struggle bus and uh, I don't really know what's going to happen. Uh, we know going into 10.0.5, Disc Priest is getting some, I wouldn't say they're like, amazing changes, but they're pretty awesome. Two stacks of Pain Suppression is going to be pretty fun to play with. That gives you some nice damage reduction to play around with. I, I still maintain the perception that uh, Discipline is, their kit is fine, their tree is fine for the most part. There's a few gripes that I have with how their, their talent trees are set up, but in general, I would say overall, they're in a fine spot. Their numbers just are not good enough. They just need to do more throughput. They just need higher numbers. I think you could probably do some more scaling on their uh, individual uh, damage spells and healing spells and maybe do like a blanket healing increase. 
Like if they just did more throughput, I would I would say that they would be just fine. They're just not healing enough for how hard they have to work, especially too. Uh, and you'd expect, I mean, typically Discipline Priest has been an amazing choice for Mythic Plus, uh, but they are the bottom in all three categories. Heroic Raid, Mythic Raid, and Mythic Plus. The very bottom is Discipline. Uh, when you look at uh, raiding in general, um, Holy Paladin kind of struggles uh, in early content, uh, like Heroic Raid. Part of that is just because uh, skill level uh, and because, you know, the, the raid healers can parse like mad in Heroic Raid. Like they just go crazy healing uh, massive groups, putting throughput out there. But again, they're, you know, I would say Resto Shaman, but most so Holy Paladin is kind of in a, a league of its own in that they provide utility and they provide tank and spot healing like no one else can compete with. And so even if their overall HPS or throughput is lower, they still will be brought. I, I can't imagine any um, serious raid group not having at least one Holy Paladin in it, uh, regardless of uh, where they are uh, statistics-wise. Another interesting aspect is last week and the week before, we did see Preservation uh, kind of uh, struggling to keep up with Restoration. Uh, this week, they have clinched all three categories. Uh, they're number one in Heroic Raid, they're number one in Mythic Raid, and they're number one in Mythic Plus. They did see a, a minor buff, um, and obviously gear gets better every single week, but this week, uh, even in Mythic Raid, Preservation Evoker has just absolutely dominated. Uh, a lot of their healing is very easy to access and very easy to aim and land, so unlock, unlike Restoration Druid, which needs more ramp time and more preparation, uh, I, I, I still maintain that there is not a single Raid healer cooldown in the entire game that holds a candle to Rewind. Rewind is just what Revival wants to be. <laughs> and you compare that to any other raid uh, healing cooldown, and it is just so ridiculously good. An instant cast that can heal the whole raid based on damage taken is just, it's nuts. It's so good, uh, and the, the throughput just measures that. So as of this week for week five, the best healer in all categories is Preservation. Restoration Druid sitting in the second spot compared to the others, and you can see that they are standard deviation away from all the other specs. So you can't really go wrong choosing Restoration Druid or Preservation in the current state of balance. They are by far the best healers in the game for all PvE content. Holy Priest is now better than ever. I would say that they uh, expect to see Holy Priest start to climb in Mythic Plus even more. Um, again, as gear gets better, they have more stamina. It covers up their main weakness, which is dying. Holy Priests are just vulnerable to death. They're made of toilet paper. Um, but if they can get around that, their throughput is amazing and they do exceptionally well. They are climbing up in Mythic Plus. We actually did see Restoration Shaman climb a bit in Mythic Plus as well. And in Heroic Raid, when you can just parse like crazy, uh, they actually do about average. They're middle of the pack for Heroic Raid. In Mythic Raid, they struggle to keep up um, some of their healing has more setup to it. If you're looking for a raid guide, we just released a, uh, I just released my Resto Shaman raid guide on the channel, so you can check that out if you're looking to do restoration and we'll be working on the Mythic Plus uh, Resto Shaman guide coming soon. So that's where we're at with that. Uh, but it's cool to see Mistweaver and Holy Priest. The buffs had effect. They both jumped up um, and they do much better. I would love to see uh, probably a buff for Restoration Shaman and Discipline Priest. I feel like the amount of effort that those two classes put in to get the healing that they get for it to be weaker than the other classes uh, like re preservation that don't have to work as hard for it. Um, you know, there's just so many conditionals and setup requirements and window management for Resto Shaman and Discipline that it their numbers should be a lot more respectable. Um, so I'd like to see that up. And, and I would expect to see Resto Shaman uh, higher than, than Holy Paladin. And honestly, I would, I would say that Mistweaver probably needs even a, a tiny bit more um, from what they got, but we'll see. Uh, they're probably just trying to be more cautious because we know that Mistweaver is getting a bunch of talent reworks in 10.0.5. Uh, a lot of stuff is shifting around. They don't know how good Shailun's Gift is going to be, so we'll see what that does to them and, and how that patch goes uh, overall. So this is where we're at with healing. Um, if you are, <laughs> let me know down below in the comments where you stand on this meter. Uh, are, is your class represented here in a way that you feel is right? Um, is there anything that you feel like needs to change in the game that hasn't changed yet. You uh, like to see more buffs? Would you like to see some nerfs? We usually don't get too many healing nerfs, uh, but it, you know, anything's possible, I guess. And uh, which, which specs do you think are the most reliable, the most valuable, the most sought after, especially in the groups that you're in right now? So 
That's the healing rankings for week five. I will see you in the next one. If you have any questions or comments for me, you'll find me live every day on twitch.tv forward slash drybear. Come by and say hi. If you enjoyed yourself today, leave a like down below. You can support me and my work on Patreon and view Patreon exclusive content. Link in the description. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.